is going on everyone my name is Dan and in today's video we're going to take a look at the game consoles so I did a poll and it was the winner of the poll actually so, so people wanted to see my game consoles and as you can see we got some stashed out here there are a little bit more like there are some handhelds too so I'm gonna just start off right here I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys here and I have accessories as well but um yeah, under all these cables and wires, we find a PlayStation 1. This PlayStation 1 is actually jailbroken, I think. You can play copies on it. However, I have no AV on my TV, so that's why it's in this drawer, basically. It has a controller here somewhere. You can probably already tell. It's right there. We got a aftermarket controller with analog sticks. We got a original one. With it. And that's about it. I guess we got this transparent one as well. And what I have more is not really here, but I have this joystick for arcade games too. I got a cap gun. So there are a couple things basically that I got for this console and yeah. I mean, as far as that goes, the PlayStation 1 works. I have two of them. One of them is here. Most of my accessories aren't. But that's about it, I suppose. So the next one is actually hidden away, kinda. It is this original Xbox. Now, I have not really turned this thing on at all because one of the capacitors inside is like bloated and I don't really know what to do with that. I heard I had to take it out, I haven't done it yet. This is a pretty neat console to be honest, this is also jailbroken. Got a couple parts, even the uh, internet right there on the back. I got this bag full of games. This stuff has been sitting here for ages, I have not done anything with it. So, yeah, I don't really know what to say, I haven't tried it yet. It's been here for probably a year or two. Then we have this PlayStation 3 FAT, which I got from Taiga 99 at some point. It is running a custom firmware. Let us go ahead and boot it up. But we got some games on here. We got 15 PlayStation 3 games and stuff. Some uh, nice stuff to be honest. This is a jailbroken console, so let us go ahead and see what this is running on. Basically, it's a 500 gig drive. It's running 4.84, some rebug. So that's basically custom firmware. I don't really think there's much to add to all that. Then we have my Xbox 360 Slim. And actually, this thing has not been used a lot. This is probably an Xbox 360 with less hours on it than what you would expect. I think the only way to actually get one that hasn't been used less is to buy something that's still sealed. This also works fine. And we got the controller. We actually have two controllers for it, but... Um, here's the, uh, the black controller. It is dead. There we go. For the sake of this video, I have just enabled this controller so yeah here we go this is the xbox in action so it's just running one of the more recent firmwares i'm pretty sure and it has been reset so there's not really much on here i suppose there might be games on here but i think they wiped my entire oh no we actually got stuff yeah as you can see there are some games on here too so that's about it. And after three comes four, so I need to really clean the dust on time. But then we got the PS4 Pro, as you can see here, got a extra hard drive. I got this cradle, which my old PS4 used to stand up on. It has two controllers. So, um, basically, there are more, but yeah, I'm not really sure where they are i think there's two of them with the computer but who knows so this thing also works completely fine 
not really sure. Oh, nice. Still got some power left in the controllers. I no longer have a PS Plus subscription and it also needs an update, but you can tell here that I got some games in here. There are some pretty neat games in here, to be honest. We can even take a look at all that. Some of them are hidden behind Plus. I obviously don't have Plus anymore, but... but yeah, there's uh, just some stuff in here. Able to play that if I wanted to, even without Plus. So, yeah, it's pretty decent, I suppose. You can tell here that I have a external drive. It should be popping up anytime soon. We got a two terabyte external drive, which is about full. And we got this system drive, which is a one terabyte SSD. So for a PlayStation 4, this thing is pretty quick. Then we probably have the best console, in my opinion, that I have had ever, the Xbox Series X. So my Xbox Series X has a Tom and Jerry skin. In a matter of fact, the one where the safe got on top of Tom and he got out all square. I thought it was nice to kind of meme a little bit what this console looks like because it's obviously a big square or rectangular box. So I thought that was pretty funny. And the, the way that this thing is really silent, it's pretty cool. I'm not all into that uh, console war stuff, I really don't care, but I'm a big fan of Farza, and that's why I got the Xbox. So you can see we got a couple games here. Well, let's see, you know, I got some games on here. Some of them are Game Pass. I'm, I think the entire Game Pass library is showing right now, so here we go. You can kind of see. The games that I have on Xbox, these are the ones that I own. So a lot of games actually. And then we got the entire Game Pass library as well. So I don't really have to get into all that, but it's pretty cool. This is basically my main console. If I play a game, I usually just boot this up and let's go and play some game on here. And it always works. I also got a fair bit of accessories with it. Here is a charging cradle. And that is not for my controller that I'm using right now, because the controller I'm using right now is a Lunar Shift. And as you can see, I've been using that a lot. It's showing its, you know, age already, after two years of almost daily usage. The charging cradle is for my Rage controller. You can clearly see that this thing has been, like, seen better days, but strangely enough, it still works perfectly fine. And we got uh, the, the other controller that I officially got with the console, which is not the Rage controller, obviously. This is the uh, non-Rage controller. I got three controllers. I wish I had four. Might have four soon. This is basically the setup. We got three controllers. One of them is a Rage controller for your hefty games that are going to make you mad as hell. Just grab the Rage controller and uh, let's hope it survives the playthrough. And we got my headset, this is a JBL Quantum 400, that's what I use. So, I also have some physical games I wanted to show real quick. Here we got a couple games, we got Driver 2, Tekken, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, Rogue Spear, Tekken 3. I'm not really sure, there's a PS1 disc in here as well, I think that's Driver, yep it is. I, I don't have a CD case for that for some reason. And then we go and take a look over here. We have Need for Speed Rivals for Xbox One, uh, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, Episode from Liberty City, GTA San Andreas, GTA 5, Burnout Revenge, Splinter Cell, Mech Assault, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, Ghost, Saint Row, Skate, Just Cause. We got another Black Ops 3 here. Completely destroyed the case at some point. Titanfall, Destiny, Far Cry Primal, Battlefront, Battlefield Hardline, another GTA 5, Forza Horizon 2, 
It'll do Planet 3, Sleeping Dogs, Black Ops 4, Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, Red Dead Redemption 2, Dying Light, and the original Farza Motorsport. Now, there is a disc here. This is actually pretty interesting. This is Advanced Warfare. Now, let's go ahead and open that case up real quick. This is an actual promo version. I don't know. I, I have it. If I try to play it, my game crashes. I have no clue. But I have an actual promo version right here of um, Advanced Warfare. I don't really know why, but... <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty interesting, I suppose. And here's the game PC. And if you watched my video on that, you probably already knew it has some issues. And as you can see, one of the RAM sticks is missing. I have a broken RAM stick, which is making my computer crash the whole time. So that is no longer in there. But it works. It's running Windows 11. I got the curved monitor here. It's a Samsung Odyssey G5. I can boot it up real quick. I got the controller here, which is a... Hey, hold on a second. I got another one of those. So this is the Nakon Revolution. This is also a controller for PlayStation. This is a wired controller, which has mappable buttons and a Xbox layout. It actually came with my PS4 Pro, but because I got it right there with the computer, I thought, let me mention that thing real quick as well, because I got two of these kind of controllers, which is uh, actually pretty cool. This is a Nakon not really sure what it is it's Nakon it is a Xbox layout controller without extra buttons and it comes with this USB transmitter there we go booted it up as you can see that's no peep this artist means a lot to me so that's why I got him as my wallpaper um, well here are my specs single channel yeah this is uh, basically what my specs are i got a, a disconnected ssd in there as well because i thought that was giving me problems turns out it was my ram all along these are the specs if you're finding that interesting it's a pretty good build actually just a good computer in general now let's see we got this steering wheel here which will soon be replaced with a Xbox steering wheel because I have to turn off some specific security settings to get my drivers running and I don't really plan on doing that while I already have issues it's a pretty good steering wheel this thing is awesome it's uh, it's probably the coolest looking one with the little lights in here but it's time to upgrade so I can use it on Xbox and I can actually go ahead and uh, you know use it on my PC as intended Starting off the handheld consoles, here we have my PSP Go. Unfortunately, the case here is starting to show it's wear and tear despite not being used that much. So this is the PSP Go. As you can see, it's in a crystal case. Turns out these things are pretty rare. I even got everything with it. The box and everything. It's probably dead. Pretty stupid how that happens because this thing is not really being used all that well. And still my battery decides to just go ahead and die on me here we go and this is also running custom firmware so i got some games on here that i like i got twisted metal head on stuff like that liberty city stories five city stories driver 76 uh i thought i actually had playstation one titles on here but i don't i have to jailbreak this thing myself at some point because there was something wrong with my custom firmware uh, it's crazy how fast and easy it is to actually go ahead and jailbreak one of these things but here we go you can see here we got um 6.61 pro model 05g or something for my mac i don't freaking know what that all means but this thing it's pretty good and i think they're pretty rare too nowadays so i'm gonna hold on to it it's my uh favorite playstation portable anyways i mean Except from the PS Vita, which is more cool, but I don't have one. This thing here. Probably the nicest PlayStation Portable they ever had, I think. But maybe the, you know, opinions differ. But for me, this is the nicest one. So then we have the Nintendo DS. 
this one belonged to uh, someone who is no longer here. Uh, yeah, that's why we got this thing here. I don't have any games on it right now because the touch screen is kind of strange. I think that when we go ahead and take a look at what it does, you could kind of see that. But at this point, I don't really think there's a point. We go in here and do the touch calibration. At this point, it actually seems to work completely fine, but it will just go ahead and be weird. I don't really know what the cause of that is. It does have a stylus. It's yellow for some reason, no problem. Yeah, it's just a nice DS. Not really planning on using that because, you know, it's it belonged to someone who is no longer there. So, then we have this, my most recent DS. This is a DS Lite as well. In, I think it's Cobalt Blue. I bought this thing for super cheap. I think I paid like a buck or something for it. Maybe even less. It got TTDS on here. I think there's also an R4 card in here somewhere, but this is TTDS. Got some games on here, the Super Mario Bros, Need for Speed, Chinatown Wars of course, Brain Assist, Brain Buster, Brain Challenge. These are the games I put on there, apart from, I think, these two. And this one just works fine, no problem with the touchscreen whatsoever. I like how I got it for super cheap. It also comes with the stylus. Not sure if this is the original housing, however, so that's upon discussion. We got some cards. My little pet shop. This, this stuff came with the console, so we got cats and cats. Oh, cats too and cats. Cats and Freunde, yeah. If you like those type of games, then it would be nice for you to have this. Got some Hannah Montana, holy crap. That's a blast from the past, isn't it? And we got Nintendogs, and I think this is where the R4 card is. And this R4 card works. However, I don't know how to fix that Chinatown Wars. I, I think I need a patch for it or something. Here's the actual R4 card. It also came in this metal box, so... I couldn't really not buy it for the price that I paid, like a buck, like one buck for perfectly working DS. I'm like, you know what? That's mine now. In the box. That's mine. <laughs> so yeah, this was uh, the video of my consoles. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment. And if you're new to my channel and don't want to miss out on any new content in the future, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and see you later. Peace out. <laughs>